Aplastic anemia is a rare but serious condition where the bone marrow fails to produce adequate amounts of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets, also called pancytopenia. Aplastic anemia can be caused by acquired or inherited conditions. Acquired aplastic anemia is most common and thought to be caused by an autoimmune disease affecting the bone marrow. Other causes of acquired aplastic anemia are exposure to toxins, radiation therapy, and specific viral infections. Inherited aplastic anemia, also called Fanconi anemia, is due to genetic mutations that impact bone marrow production and function. Symptoms of aplastic anemia reflect the critical functions these blood cells serve in the body for oxygenation, clotting, and protection against infections. Manifestations include dyspnea, fatigue, rapid or irregular heart rate, excessive bleeding or bruising, petechiae, eye, and increased susceptibility to severe infections. Diagnostic testing begins with abnormally low levels of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets on a complete blood count. The structure and appearance of the cells may be examined with a peripheral blood smear. If abnormalities are noted, a bone marrow aspiration and biopsy are performed. Treatment addresses the reduced production of blood cells and associated symptoms. The specific treatment plan depends on the disease severity, the underlying cause, and the client's health status. For example, if aplastic anemia is caused by chemotherapy, specific medications may be changed or discontinued. Blood transfusions may be performed to rapidly increase blood cell levels, alleviate symptoms, and prevent complications. Growth factor medications may be used to stimulate the production of blood cells and immunosuppressive therapy may be prescribed to halt the immune system's attack on the bone marrow. In severe cases, hematopoietic stem cell transplantation offers a potential cure by replacing damaged bone marrow with healthy stem cells from a donor. Nurses play a pivotal role in caring for patients with aplastic anemia, focusing on managing symptoms and preventing complications by implementing interventions like energy management, bleeding precautions, and protection against infection. Health teaching and emotional support are crucial when caring for clients and their families. The overarching goals in treating aplastic anemia are to improve the patient's blood counts and prevent complications from poor oxygenation, excessive bleeding, or infection. The effectiveness of interventions is continuously evaluated against the client's expected outcomes, with adjustments made to the nursing care plan as needed.